All right, it is 10.30 in the evening. So I'm just making this last video before I close everything down to be going to bed. Practically, I took apart one jeans skirt and it had these two tri darker triangles in them, in it. So I thought that's cool because it pretty much reflects this, whereas this is much brighter. And so I got another pair of jeans, which is pretty much the same kind of design. I mean, the kind of same kind of grain to it. And so practically I'm using these two triangles from the inside. Excuse me, I like I pinned it because it's getting really heavy and so it's pulling too much and this is all just pinned together for now. So practically this is just like one leg. Uh, so if I put it this way, you can see it better. This is a leg which is really dirty. So I had to cut it off in a couple of places. But it's like rectangular right here in the front. And so right now this is like pinned, but it's not going to be pinned. It's going to just be like right now it's just pinned so I get a have a general idea of how it is. I put all the pins in, but I'll be taking those out. Um, so anyhow, when it's closed, this is going to be completely straight. When it's closed, just a second, let me get a pen to be pinning that up so you can get a better idea. So there you go. When it's closed, it's going to be pretty much straight like that. And instead, when it's open, oh, I'm sorry. Practically when it's closed, this is going to be closed as well. I'm going to have to take this down so that you can see it better. Practically. Closing it like that's how it is when it's closed on the underneath. Actually, that's a lot nicer That's actually a lot nicer that triangle kind of thing, but I don't think I can make it that way So anyhow when it's closed, it's gonna be like this It's gonna be practically uh, Excuse me Practically it's gonna be something like that now, of course, this is all jeans, and you're seeing all of the seams of the, the various jeans and everything. But we are going to be adding some other very interesting items to it to make it really look, I don't know, something different. So, also, I'm going to have to be making this front here much longer. And... Boy, oh boy, I'm just like almost brain dead right now. This is what the back looks like for now. Because of course that's going to go. This is going to be disappearing. I'm going to find a way to close that off. Probably going to give it a mantle. Make, give, make some kind of mantle part. Then I want to give it a really high collar as well. And... I am debating whether I should just leave that open and flying or if I should close it off. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it open and flying. And then, of course, we're going to have to be putting on the, the um, arm sleeves. Uh, the, yeah, the sleeves. And so that's going to be a whole nother another experiment going on there I'm adding the arm sleeves i'm probably going to be having like these arm sleeves but where they're like they they're also flying flaps or something of the sort i really don't know this is coming together like piece after piece after piece I've never done a sewing course. I've, of course, I've looked through Burda, and well, Burda was was the one we used to get. So of course, I did used to look through, but like sewing clothes, this I've never really sewn any clothes. Uh, one, one really silly mock-up of a 
skirt of a, of a of a skirt which came out very long but i'm just loving the way this is coming along the way these flaps are gonna be i just love that and it's fine that it's all tattered and everything i'm probably going to be doing some kind of some kind of embroidery i really do not know at this point in time but apparently this project is going to be something so much more different than what i initially expected when i said okay i want to copy this coat that i have so yeah that's all from the urban tuscan farm and talk soon.